Hi YouTube, it's Tracy from Entrepreneur Girl and today is Tracy's Tuesday Tips and I'm going to be taking you step by step through setting up your Amazon seller account. I actually got this idea from Marsha who messaged me through my website www.entrepreneurgirl.net and I want to just give her a shout out and a big thank you. As to all of you, because you've been very kind and sweet to me with condolences to my father. And I really appreciate everyone that left messages or emails or just reached out to me because not only did I read them, but I reread so many of them. And it really helped push me through this week. And I'm really grateful for that. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about how to go ahead and set up your Amazon account. So this is going to be in the beginner playlist. I'm going to link the playlist here because once you finish, I think it's important that you go through all the videos that we've done so you can set up your supplies and your office and actually get going on listing those first products. So this is an email that I received this week from my www.entrepreneurgirl.net website and I try to answer all emails or really any communication from a YouTube channel or anything eventually. So I wanted to address this one for today's Tracy's Tuesday tip and here you can see is signing up for FBA is confusing for a newbie. Questions come up like, do you need a real business name? Is it the same one that shows up in your display? Or will, will your name appear if you use your real name? Do you need the EIN, TIN, state tells, sales tax set up to start? Um, so she didn't think that it was there. And we are going to try to address this today. One thing I say about all the taxes is kind of wait for that. Let's just go ahead and get your personal, your individual account set up. Let's get you getting a box in and then worry about some of the hefty things like creating a business and an LLC and taxes because people get really bogged down with the scary aspects of it and then they never even get started. So today let's get your account set up. Let's do it as an individual and let's get some things listed. So here we are on Amazon services and you can see the website right there and they always as far as I've seen since I started selling offer this one month free which I think is a terrific idea on their behalf because it takes about a month for you to really start making money and I think it would be a big discouragement if you didn't get that one month free because you would essentially be in the red because you're going to be paying uh, $39.99 a month if you are as a professional and if you were sending in inventory it takes you a little bit to get your boxes ready especially your first time because it's so you know nerve-wracking and time-consuming until you get the hang of it and then you're sending it in and that takes a few days and then it takes about a week for them to process it and for your products to be live so I think this is great that they offer this one month free and that is how you can check it out and if you're reading, um, one key point I think is today more than 40% of Amazon's total unit sales come from third party sellers like ourselves. So I think that's very interesting. And down here you have sell as a professional and sell as an individual. A lot of people are like, huh? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, we scroll down and it shows you professional and individual. And you can see that these X's are telling you that you can't do that. There we go. You can't use bulk listings. You can't custom uh, customize your shipping rates um, for certain products. You can't offer promotions and you're not eligible for top placement on these product on the detail pages. The key point, however, for most all of us is this. It costs you 99 cents every sale that you get on Amazon. So if you are selling more than 40 items a month, which I feel that you should be, or kind of why bother, right? That's 10 items a week. And if you're not selling 10 items a week, then you would want to just go ahead and sell as an individual. If you are, however, then you definitely want to be selling as a professional just because of you know the prices. It just would make sense um, to sell that way. So that's how we're going to set up our fake account today. We're going to click sell as a, this is the screen that comes up. I'm going to go ahead and enter my Tracy at entrepreneurgirl.net email address. 
and we are going to be creating a new account and we're going to the last name it's going to be tracy smith my email address tracy at entrepreneurgirl.net i retyped it i entered in a password i retyped the password and i'm clicking continue okay register and start selling today and this is where everybody starts to get nervous because it looks like legalese and they don't feel confident so they're like what okay your legal name if you're registering as a business and you already have a business established then go ahead and enter your business name um, but today we're just going to act like we don't have a business i'm going to go ahead and put my legal name that i read it and i'm going to click on continue so it says welcome tracy smith and now we're going to type in our seller information this display name right here this you want to give a little bit of thought to because this is why everyone's going to see when they're looking for a product when they're going to purchase from you on Amazon and it was you want it to be professional it's not going to be my name it's not going to be Tracy Smith but say I sold just vitamins only I could be vitamin world if I'm say I'm selling headbands I could be headband world you know but if you're selling a lot of different items like I do then I want something that's just kind of a general store so it's not going to be like um, vintage goods world because I sell more than vintage goods I want it to be professional I want it to be simple and it could really literally be anything that you want so say I'm making up a name like Smithco 25 <laughs> just for today's example because I want to make sure that it's something that's available and then I'm just going to enter in any old address because this is just made up okay so we're 567 port street and we live in no where united states phone number i'm just going to make one up here and i'm going to save and continue Okay, it's asking me for a credit card number. Since I'm entering in a false credit card number, hopefully it'll let me. Okay, save and continue. Okay, now it's gonna ask me for a phone number. It's going to send me a text message so that I can verify my phone number. And I'm gonna go ahead and put send as a text message. Text me now. Okay, and I already got my pen, so I'm going to enter that in now and hit verify pen. Okay, congrats, it's been added. Now we're going to launch the tax wizard. And this is the scary part for a lot of people. Okay, are you a U.S. person? Yes, save and continue. For taxpayer information, federal tax classification, if you already have a company, then you should know what tax you set it up as. And like Entrepreneur Girl, I'm a limited liability company, an LLC. But when I first started, I wasn't. So I just signed up as individual. And that's the way we're doing it today. And if you have a business or trade name, that's where you would enter it. But we're just doing it as Tracy Smith in nowhere florida <laughs> okay and then our tax identification number again if you are just a person just an individual you will use your social security number right here this ein number is something that you will have if you're a business and you would click it there but we're just doing social security number and i am just going to enter in something um, not true Save and continue, being validated. And here we have a W-9 form. Once you click to the next page, then you consent or you uh, to an electronic receipt of the information or you want it mailed to you. I normally do electronic. I consent to provide my electronic signature. Check all that applies. I'm a US citizen. 
I'm not subject to backup withholding. The number shown on this form is correct. And you're going to just type in your signature, type in your email address, and you click submit. We'll validate it and contact you. You click exit interview. Okay, text identification, continue. Setting up your account, these two things are complete. Scroll down. Your charge method is the only thing that we have left. So we'll go ahead and start that. Go ahead and click save. You're brought to this page. Congratulations, your account setup is complete. All you have now left to do is click on this complete registration and it will complete the process and take you to Amazon Seller Central. And once you are there, all you have to do is start listing products. I'm not going to click on this because I created a bogus account, but once you do and you see that you're on Amazon Seller Central, over here on the right hand side are a lot of really helpful topics that you can click on and learn. It's kind of like a quick start guide and I would suggest that you go ahead and go through every single one of them that you can because you want all the knowledge that you can and you don't want to make any mistakes. So read through everything that's on the right hand side and go ahead and try to set up some products. Okay so here we are on my YouTube channel and if you go here under playlist you can see that I'm really trying to break it down into different playlists for you. Also on the home page that we were just on, if you scroll down, you'll see that I have the main categories there too. So right here is the beginner skill level and there's a lot of great beginner videos for you once you do get your individual account set up. If you click on it, you'll see here that I take you through your the risk of it, the office and the supplies, scheduling, how many hours do I work a week, packing and mailing supplies, um, starter inventory for your accounts, and listing your first items on eBay and Amazon. So this would be useful to you once you go ahead and set up this account. I'll go ahead and put the link up here, but if you're on a mobile device, you can click on it down below, or you can just go on to my YouTube channel here and look under playlist and get all of this step by step. So I hope today's video is useful to you, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Bye guys.